On to other news, while public servants in Jamaica are not in favor of the proposal for their pension contribution to be increased to 5% mere weeks after accepting a 7% salary increase, the Jamaica Civil Service Association, which is the umbrella union for public sector groups, believes the figure is reasonable. However, the JCSA says it is uncomfortable with some aspects of the proposal, especially the part that labels the increased pension contribution as additional revenue for the government. Speaking with the C News team, President of the JCSA, O'Neill Grant, says the concerns have been relayed to the government. We responded to the white paper and we also wrote to the government about our concerns in relation to the reform. We are currently now finalizing our documentation as it relates to the proposed legislation, the bill that has been laid before the House. And we are going to be asking that our points be considered very, very strongly when the legislators are debating the, the bill. Mr. Grant says while the pension system is of benefit to employees of the government, the government also has some benefits to be derived from the scheme, but those should not take center stage. The government will benefit because the responsibility to pay a pension will be relieved because workers will know the contributing to their pension is not that the workers are saying that we want to continue with a non-contributory scheme. So there's a benefit for the government, but it must be seen that the primary benefit is to ensure that there is a certain security for workers after they have left employment. We are going to emphasize that aspect of it, that the government must see and treat the pension arrangements as a benefit to the worker. And if the costs that are associated with that particular benefit is one that it cannot bear right now, we must have a discussion as to the way forward. The White Paper spoke to a $17 billion per year contribution by the government for 40 years because of the legacy implications for persons who are currently receiving pension. We are saying that we recognize that, we understand that, but we also recognize that this is a reduction of the $25 billion that the government has now budgeted and is projected to cope to $30 billion over the next few years if it is that the pension arrangements continue as they are now.